video you're wondering why I'm going barefooted right now. Well, we're doing like a legendary movie hero played by Bruce Willis himself, John McClane. Yes, Die Hard. But unfortunately, we're not doing the movie, but we're actually going to review the game. And we're going to do what he does. And, and, anyways, here's the game. This one says beginner or advance. You have an option to play the game on easy or hard. Just to let you all know, every year I like watching Die Hard, since it is like an Xmas movie, every holiday. It had some good action, had swearing, and it's about the hero John McClane, which is an awesome name. And that was going to relax in the hotel, have a great time, going barefooted, thanks to the guy at the airport. Well, rub his toes against the rug. Go pretty good. Until a bunch of evil tourists, or should I say, a bandits and crooks, invade the building. So it's up to our only hero, John McClane, to stop their main leader, Hans. And to play by the same person that played. Snipe from Harry Potter, which I will not say his name, his real name, and I'm going to do this review as quickly as possible. Just like any video game based off movie, you go oh, up here and there, you get an, a bit of a phone call from your best friend, and the cop guy that was from Family Manners. Also, we still got YouTube. Anyways. Ace, um... This is all you do in this game is shoot uh, bad guys and go upstairs top floor. And this is all you do is shoot bad guys. Ace and pick up items and all the stuff you do. And you see right here, this is your life bar. If it reaches down to zero, the game is over and you have to start all over again from the very beginning. Which will be a very tough way to complete this game 100%. But be careful not to fall off the edge. It's just like in the movie, you had to be careful not to fall out windows. And you have to go through doors, keep answering calls every, every couple of times in a while. You can press A to shoot, B to run fast, and go inside air vents, just like in the film too. And not to mention you have to Uh, hurry up uh, before the time limit runs out. And go to the top floor as quickly as possible. Or you get like a... Unbelievably bad ending that Hunt will destroy. Almost like we are plan to get this far in. And I like the idea when they put the scene from the movie where... The bad guys would shoot the glass. Will be his weakness of him going bare feet. And you have to tag the elevator to any top floors. 
That's why the problem is the enemies will be everywhere, so make sure you get enough health packs on the way to every each floor. Not to mention you had to check the map and some of the numbers. Like uh a better call numbers and a perfect word for it. Educated. L, that's a name. They'll get annoying at the while when he keeps calling you every each time. Oh yeah, not to mention this game actually has multiple endings. I'm not kidding. This game has multiple endings. Once you get to the final boss, which is obviously Hans from the movie. Which is the only boss you'll find in the game. And I like how... Oh, they used the scene from the movie of him using the holes to swing down before the entire building explodes and he uses the shoot through the glass and enters in the next room. Not to mention the music is okay at most point, but you'll get used to hearing that throughout the entirety of the game. Anyways, you have to rescue Molly, which is John McClane's Friend, wife. If those of you watch the movie before, you pretty much know how this goes. So you have to aim perfectly at Hans and shoot him perfectly, and not shoot him out the window because I guess that'll be too much in them. Or and there's that guy that John McQueen hints and. This is how the game ends. And to get the best ending and seeing your friend Al shoots the bad guy. Which does not show that if you watch the whole movie. <laughs> Again, I never played Die Hard on the NES, but... I do know the movie is really awesomely great. If you're like a huge die-hard fan, of most of you are, then I guess this game will be just for you. So, I give Die Hard for the NES, and most likely the endings are on the OK sides. And Game Over screams, which you might just see on YouTube now. <coughs> Bless me. Perfectly good score to watch most likely the other Die Hard movies and this game that came out the same year as the film did. Oh, my mistake, it says 1990. So the film actually came out in 1988. But still, pretty great movie. I would say this game kind of relates to Contra. All you do is shoot, 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 shoot all the time. And yeah, I know that AVGN already reviewed this game before. Believe me, he did. And not to mention in the game, there's like a their health bar for his feet. There's just not much else to say, but it does have interesting cut about scene. Cut scenes from the movie. But I'll eat that. But boy, is it tough. Really tough. Well, all I could say is, it's worth playing. I get this game an 8 out of 10. See you then.